foundations and the philanthropic sector in Russia has isolated itself from uh, the rest of the world to some extent. And therefore, we really think it's very important that European foundations and Russian foundations talk to each other, exchange views, exchange common practice, exchange expertise, and begin to formulate uh, bridges that actually can help uh, these parts of civil society engage with one another. This is a very important chance for European and Russian foundations and NGOs not only to see in detail what is going on, but also to better understand our complex world. In Russia, we have only just a marginal uh, foundation, and this foundation just come here to uh, share their experience with the European colleagues, and we get more from European colleagues we can use in our practice in Russia. I believe it's a very unique opportunity to learn what we are doing and what we can do together. Each place creates its own kind of philanthropic uh, narrative and its own kind of philanthropic experience. And it's really important then that once that happens, that this is exchanged and shared with one another. I've got a great useful experience of being here uh, with uh, a group of 20 uh, practitioners and uh, researchers. To have a first-hand experience of working together, co-creation, and especially how we can join our resources, not necessarily physically, I mean financially, or doing projects together, uh, but how we can feel the strength of like-minded individuals and organizations across a broader Europe and working together on solving the most pressing social issues. For me, it was a great possibility to stop for one week uh, because I'm working on the ground and always in the rush and uh, to think about experience of other people, networking, to learn about new trends in philanthropy. And it becomes really important that people who have owned very different kinds of experiences are able to share it with one another. I would really recommend the Europe-Russia platform exchange for people who are interested in meeting like-minded people to explore the challenges of philanthropy and what philanthropy is like in different places, but also critically to think about some solutions to those issues. In this past four very intensive days, we of course had fantastic uh, inspiring interventions by high-profile um, experts and really inspiring peer-to-peer -peer conversations. In-person meeting is really something that would never be replaced by any other means of networking, cooperation or partnership. I strongly recommend it uh, other practitioners from the uh, philanthropy sector and uh, Russian foundations to be a part of this program because the uh, interaction that they had here very practical oriented and we just get our lesson learned to our country. To me the key of these four days and what I'm taking away with me is the community and a platform that we will be able to rely on and get the support from far, that goes far beyond these four days of um, spent together and a support system and a network that will really give a lot to us in terms of our professional as well as personal development in the future. I hope the more participants will join this platform and next year when we'll have the second meeting We'll have new participants, new ideas, new endeavors, and there will be one big philanthropic community. I really valued meeting colleagues from all across Europe, all across Russia. It really opened my eyes up to new ways of doing philanthropy, different challenges, but also the ways in which we can unite and come together. It was a valuable experience for me to learn how other people in 10 more countries work uh, to foster philanthropy, to strengthen progress and uh, to help people on the ground.